Hi, welcome to the OWASP Bricks training. I'm straight ahead opening Hackbar. The ID parameter is accepting input through the URL of the browser and is going to be our injection point. Let's try the power of single quote. And bingo, there is an error. So ID parameter is vulnerable. However, vulnerability should be verified. 1 equals 1 is a true statement, so there won't be any errors. 1 equals 2 is a false statement and the content is not being displayed. This proves SQL injection is possible. Now, try to enumerate the number of columns. This process should be continued till the page shows some error. The page showed error at order by 9 since column 9 does not exist. This confirms the number of columns to be 8. A union select statement has to be created using Hackbar. In order to obtain proper results, the first part of the SQL statement should be invalid. One way to do that is to supply a non-existing ID value. Another method is to append a false statement. In both cases, the page is displaying some numbers instead of the actual user details since supplied numbers in the URL. These are the corresponding number of columns that are vulnerable. SQL commands can be put onto the corresponding sections in the URL and the results will be displayed on the page accordingly. Current database user's name is obtained. Similarly, my SQL version and database name can be obtained. Now, the tables on the current database has to be enumerated. Since there is only one table in the BRICS database, that information is displayed. Next objective is to find out the columns in the users table. The name and password are the most interesting columns, so, the next injected code should be for dumping the data from those columns. And there goes the username and passwords of all the users. 